here we are for match one of Legacy Lantern. Uh, we are going to get to be on the play. Uh, so pretty standard Lantern hand here. Uh, we got Mill Rocks, we got Lanterns, we got a uh, Popsicle. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and keep this. Uh, we're going to fetch on the main uh, on turn one. Let's go get a basic. We're going to protect ourselves from uh, Wasteland as much as we can. Uh, I don't necessarily need the blue source at the moment. So we're just going to go ahead and lantern, run out the Mox Opal. So they got the Underground Sea, so possibly Reanimator. Uh, could be Zombies. I actually played against Zombies with this the other night. Um, another option would be, uh, okay, or uh, Ad Nauseum Tendrils. So there's dark, uh, dark Ritual. So we could just be dead here. Um, Thought Sea, so they're probably going to take our Enlightened Tutor. I'd probably take the Enlightened Tutor. But I'm just going to take a minute read our cards because they're just stuff you won't see played in Legacy pretty much ever. They do take the Enlightened Tutor. Pretty good option for them. I'm going to draw a basic plane so not huge on. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and run out the Shredder. Run out the Bell, and we're probably just going to bring the Bell here. Uh, take that Dark Ritual away from the opponent. Uh, we get rid of a land that we don't, or a Pithy Needle we don't think we care about in this matchup. Uh, bridge on top, so that'll help us out if they decided, if they were going to go the um, uh, empty the Warren's route. Sorry, Storms. Storm's a deck I have not played against in many, many, probably since 2019. The last time I actually saw it in Modern. Uh, there was like one player at my LGS that played it every now and then. It wasn't even his main deck. Alright, there's a Brainstorm. I got an Opt and another Brainstorm. In addition to, forget what was on top already. Uh, so probably just a Brainstorm, put a couple cards back and fetch. So put a brainstorm back and something else. And they get a trop. Okay, so maybe not storm. Uh, the tropical island there. Everything else is screaming storm. The dark rituals, the brainstorms, uh, even the opt really. Uh, just a cheap, you know, you know, play it, draw a card, spell count. I'm right, gonna go ahead and X out those. They have a Dark Ritual on top. We're going to let it go for now. Um, I don't think we're just dead. So we're going to try to run out this bridge, see if it gets countered. But we don't have a whole lot else to do with our turn, so... They let it go. So either they don't have a counter or they don't care about bridge. I think on the end step we will actually ring the bell. Uh, we don't want another land. We don't really want them to have a Dark Ritual. <clears throat> we get another land anyway. Well, we can build that on their end step if they don't have anything too threatening on top. Uh, let's see, there's a dark ritual on top. They can preordain. Uh, that's fine. They're just sculpting their hand at the moment. Letting them have the dark ritual is probably not a good idea, but I think there might be cards we want them to have less, so... The potential this could be, I don't think this is Reanimator. Chain of Smog. Okay, what the hell does that do, card do again? This card's two cards. Well, we don't have any cards in hand, so feel free to make us discard two cards. Uh, end step, we're just going to mill. Oh, they're going to cast Opt. Well, with that on the stack, we're going to mill you. What you should have done was opted after. After we hit the button. And they drew a preordain off the opt. Uh, we're just going to ring the bell on our upkeep. Take the brainstorm away. Just get rid of this flutter stream we don't want. Uh, they get another land. We get a Pixis. So we'll go ahead and play Pixis. And ship the turn. We'll 
this is all that land, there's another land on top, so they're probably going to play on Preordain, whatever it was, whatever it was Preordain. Wither Bloom Apprentice, what the hell? Whenever you cast your copy and it's our sorcery, sorcery. Okay, well that's a problem. Okay, they're just gonna go off here uh, with Chain of Smog. Okay. Well, we are gonna make them put. We're gonna make them loop it. Uh, take some time off the clock. I'm a petty bitch. What can I say? Question is, what do we have on our sideboard for this? Uh, with all the card draw we saw, Narset's gonna stay in. What is in our sideboard that we want for this? Um, saw a couple non-basics, so maybe we bring the back to basics in. Uh, Spell Pierce, possibly, for the Chain of Smog. They'll probably bring in Spell Pierce and Swan Songs for the uh, Chain of Smog. And this is why we want Narset uh, per to prevent the uh, all them finding the chain of smog and all that, where we can't interact. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> so I don't think the deck is looking to attack. So we're going to take out the incinerary bridges. We're going to keep the energy fields in just as a just in case option. Uh, Meddling mage in for chain of, to name chain of smog. Bring in our counter spells. Uh, damping sphere. It, they copy, so not a big deal there. Torpor Orb doesn't do anything. Grafticker's Cage does nothing. Walling Jar does nothing. Um, I think we're in a good spot here. Um, yeah, this gives us Spell Pierce, Swan Song, Meddling Mage to interact. Unexpectedly absent will let us interact by bouncing the Apprentice to the top in response to the Chain of Smog. Uh, so we got options here. We just didn't have any of them in our hand last time. Um, so we're just going to run it like that, see how it goes. Um, Storm is the one, any variant of Storm. This is a new one I haven't seen before, but really any variant of Storm is a difficult one for us to interact with. Oh, do we want this? I think we're going to keep it. We don't have Blue Mana to cast our Narset, which is a problem, but we're going to get Rest in Pieces. Uh, we have a backup for Thoughtseize. Uh, so we're probably just going to run out the planes, play the Ghoul Caller's Bell, and pass. So they thought Seize probably take some, take some Light and Tutor again. They might take the Nar set, but I think with us not having a way to actually play the Nar set, they'll leave it alone. I hope they'll leave it alone and we find a way to cast it. Just going to go ahead and yield till the end step. We don't have really anything to do here. Uh, here's the thought seize. Yep. They've always got it. It'll be interesting to see which they take. Uh, I'd probably take the Enlightened Tutor, but Narset's a good option. They do take the Enlightened Tutor, so they're not worried about Narset. We're just going to mill. We're going to blind mill on the end step. Oh, we hit a Witherbloom Apprentice, so that's good news. Alright, we hit an Academy Ruins, which. Is pretty eh. Uh, especially since we are playing Rest in Peace. Just clear out those graveyards. We need to hit some blue sources here. To get an R set down. The rest is good. There's good as an R set. Now we hit a Misty. So I guess we'll just go get our blue source now. Uh, let's go get a basic island here. We're not overly concerned about needing double, needing a third white source or anything like that. Run out a second rest in peace. Pass it off. I just gotta sit and hope the opponent just doesn't have it. Opting. 
brainstorming. Uh, ideally, we'd like to find Meddling Mage off the top. If we can find Meddling Mage, we're in business. And it just has all the ponders and preordines and brainstorms and. All right, are we done? Looks like. All right, we're gonna mill again. Let's see, we lose enlightened tutor. They lose preordain. Now we get an enlightened tutor off the top, so we're just gonna pass the turn. Question is, what do we want with the enlightened tutor? Um, ideally, if we had one more land, we would just go get the helm and make them combo. I think that's what we're going to end up doing. I think we're just going to go to the Helm of Obedience and force them to win. I think that's our best option. So with the amount of pondering and preordaining and all that fun shit that they're doing, um, I think they're just going to have it here in a minute. Misty Rainforest, Brainstorm, they're still hunting their pieces, and if I remember right, let's take a look at Wither Broom Apprentice, so the Wither Broom Apprentice does cost two, and so does Chain of Smoke, so if they find those two pieces, then they've got it, uh, they've got the mana for it, so we'll just Enlighten Tutor, uh, go find, where's it at, Helm of Obedience, Draw for turn. Run out the helm. And hope they don't have it. Unfortunately, we can't activate the helm for zero. You know, one, one more land would have been good there, but we can't have it all. And that was our turn four. Oh, the opponent did not have it. Let's scoop it up. All right, I think we're just going to run it back. I don't think there's a whole lot else that we could bring into our deck that's in our sideboard that's going to make a difference here. Uh, there's some argument possibly for back to basics or Vendillion Click. Uh, I just don't think that we have anything in our deck that we necessarily want to cut. Uh, Let's, you know, let's go down to energy fields. Uh, they don't seem to be really trying to get in through the combat damage type thing. Uh, we're going to leave two in because they do have the Wither Bloom Apprentice that can just swing in. Um, and we'll bring in, we'll go in one click, one back to basics. And just see how that works. And they're gonna go play first. Oh, I would love to keep this, but no lands. Uh, we'd have that meddling mage turn two for chance smog would be perfect. Uh, opposite problem here. Oh man, we could have taken those needles out. Those needles are bad. Those needles are bad in this matchup. We're gonna put this one at the bottom. I haven't seen a single activated ability besides their fetches. So now uh, swing to the end step. No well, worst case scenario, we've got uh, Urza Saga here. We can just start getting beats in that way. Uh, okay, they really don't ponder not. Thought sees this time. Look at that. It's a minor miracle. Alright, what do we draw? What do we draw? Meddling Mage, come on. Home of Obedience, okay. So, I kind of kind of hope we don't see a Thought Seize here. That's going to take away our main win condition. Uh, we're just going to... Saga here or Lantern here. They couldn't bring in counter magic or are they just stalling? I'm not sure what they're doing. Alright, we got a rip on top. They've got an opt. Uh, next turn we'll probably just drop the ripped. The rip. They draw an opt abrupt decay. Okay, change in plans. We're going to 
Start off the auto yield. We might just pop this lantern to get rid of that abrupt decay. I really don't want them drawing that. We do know they have instant speed ways of interacting. I'm going to draw the rest in peace. We're just going to play out Urza Saga here so we can start making tokens next turn. Run out Ghoul Caller's Bell. And let's try to mill. Let's try to ring the bell. There's the opt. We're just going to make you shuffle instead. Unfortunately, now we don't know what they get. Uh, but whatever it is, it's probably at least slightly better than Abrupt Decay. So we lose Field of Dreams. And they, we still got an, still an Abrupt Decay with it. So how about that? This turn, I think we're just going to play. If there's Thought Seize, there goes our Helm of Obedience. Bye bye. Yep. So we are going to have to win through beats here. Surgical's Helm of Obedience. Well, we've only got the one, so. Good job paying, what, like four life for that? Brainstorm. Wouldn't mind finding a Narset. If we could rip a Narset off the top of it. Uh, Misty. Opts. I'm just going to go find a new Lantern on this. Uh. Now we get a Pixis. Uh, I'm not too into Pixis this turn. Just gonna play another land and pass the turn. <clears throat> We're just gonna once again hope they don't have it. Make a token. There's bearding. So they are still technically a land short. Being able to just go off in one turn. I don't know if that's what they're hunting. They're recycling through their cards really fast. Let's see if they shuffle off this ponder. No, they just draw. There's a land. Another end step. We've got a mill. Aw, oh, man, we lose a codex. And we'll make a token. Alright, our turn. Draw Pithy Needle. Well, that sucks. And make another token. Go get a lantern here just to try to establish top lock again. Once again, not in love with Pithing Needle here. So we're just going to play Tundra. Let's drop the Pixis. Start swinging in. And hope that they don't have everything they need in hand. Get in for five. So we are presenting lethal next turn. But we do have two mill rocks as well as a lantern if we need it. And if they have it in hand, then we're up a creek. All right, there's surgical. We don't care if they have a surgical. There's a fetch. So if they're just fetching before they play any of their spells, then I'm a little concerned here. Getting green, there's the black, so there's the Wither Bloom Apprentice. Do they have the Chain of Smog? I'm assuming they do, or they won't expose it. Yep, there's the Chain of Smog. Well, that's a little rough, and we almost got there. Damn near got there. Uh, yeah, so sideboarding probably could have been a little bit better on that one. Uh, Pithing Needles could have come out. Unfortunately, there's just not anything that we have that can just prevent loss of life. Uh, it only prevents damage. So, unfortunately, that didn't work out for us, but uh, see you here in a minute for round two.